Oh yeah, these are big and bigger net required. It's a nice little double. Beautiful fish. I'm Zach Williams of Gavelino UK and we're here today at the Mighty Lafford Lakes to cover a bit of spring carp fishing. We're going to target the 5 metre line, 4 metre line and um, some hard pellets, hopefully get into some of the big fish and later on hopefully we can get down the edge and catch some of the real minters that live in the specimen lake of Lafford. We're going to quickly run through a couple of rigs, we're going to keep it dead simple and mega positive. So first rig for the 5 metre line, where we're going to start. To start off, my rig for the five metre line. It's about six and a half foot deep. Just fishing on the bottom of our slope. We've got a uh, 12 to 14 uh, hollow fight the high stretch gabling elastic. Fantastic stretches, miles, and powers up really quickly. Fantastic stuff. Right, and then we're moving down onto the main line, ultra durable. It's the 020 in the super soft gabble main line. We've got two little number eight back shots here just so we can hold on to the float. We have got a bit of side wind today, but nothing too bad. Then down to a DC C45 0.8. And then we run down, again ultra positive. We've got an Olivet, some locking shot, and just one dropper. Run down to an 018 super soft hook length, to a size 16 with a little band on to fish some pellets. Then, <coughs> Onto the edge. Again, I've gone for a 12 to 14 hollow. You know, we're in springtime. We are fighting hard. But I like a bit of a softer elastic to let them swim out with, uh, swim out with a swim. Um, and then we can get them under control nice and quickly. So, again, we've gone for all 22 super soft this time. Because it's a massive fish in here. You know, well over 20, even 30 pound. Um, again, two number eight back shot. Down to a DC CO2. 0.4 gram edge float, super strong, super reliable. And then a simple bulk, ultra positive again, to a four inch hook length of 018, super soft. See how we get on. So, to kick off our swim, it's spring now, and we're gonna target a bit of everything. So, obviously we want a few cat, but the skimmers in here are well worth catching, you'll catch massive weights of them too. So, we're not gonna feed too much, we're gonna have that of pellets, six mils, and a few bits of corn. We're just going to put on our five meter line, give him a bit of water, make sure the pellets all sink. We're going to drop him on our five meter line. We'll pick out that far bank marker, which is that nice peg over there. I'm just going to drop him in, nice and accurate. To kick off, we're going to start in a hard pellet. Got mud off the bottom of there. A six mil hard pellet, again, just to try to get a bite really, to see what's here straight away. Hopefully we'll get straight into a cat, but we're happy to catch a few of these big skimmers in Laughford as well, because they do go up over five pounds, and obviously in a match, if we can catch a couple of them, we're not going to turn our nose up. So, we'll pop a six mil in the band. We're not going to put any more in our feeding pot at the moment. Just go in and see what's there. Be nice and patient. And hopefully, the fish are playing ball. Just flick him out past the slope. Hold him against your back shot. Drag him into the bottom of our slope. There you rig straighten out. Fingers crossed, it won't take too long.
Here we go. I think that's our first skimmer. Yeah, it's one of them nice, nice big skimmers. Oh, and we'll take them all day. Lovely. Try not to cut my neck out my hand. You can see, clean your rigging properly. You be looking them smacking our top lip. So as we thought, first drop in, we've managed a nice skimmer, probably about two and a half, three pound. So we're gonna keep on feeding, keep feeding the corn and some pellets. And hopefully as the day goes on, the carp will move in and push these skimmers out. But like I said, if we were fishing a mac, I'd be more than happy catching three pound skimmers a drop. Cause you can do some colossal weight to your Lafford. Just some skimmers. So we'll back out now. Make sure you line up with your far bank marker. Drop a couple of pellets in and a few bits of corn. Swing them out past that slope. Just hold them tight to drop back in. Oh, dip straight away. Yeah, another nice one of them skimmers. So I mean, even though we're not catching carp, we're still gonna put a nice weight in the net ready for the last couple of hours, hopefully down that edge with these big slabs and the real weight builders. Okay, nicely up in the top lip. Lovely fish. Let's do that again for a minute. Just keep tapping a few pallets in, a bit of corn, and then hopefully these carp will move in over the bait. If not, I think I'm gonna up the feed, possibly start throwing a few pallets in over the top. And if that doesn't work, I might give a big pot out again. Um, and fingers crossed, they want in a month today. About 12 to 14 elastic works perfect for Obviously, if you give a carp, you can get them under control, but it's still soft enough so you can run out your swim. Um, but it's soft enough, obviously, to get them skimmers in without bumping them. So, let's hold them tight. Let rig straight and out, drop them in. Right, so we had a great few hours of five metres catching plenty of fish. 
and putting a great weight in the net. So now it's time to go down the edge and look for one of them zoo creatures. So we're just going to feed it up. We're going to put some big tech margin mix, very heavy mix, which is important. So we're going to fill him halfway up with this. Good dollop of corn and some dead maggots. And we're going to feed him about about four foot off a bank. We've just got a nice depth here. It's probably around two and a half foot. It's still springtime, so we still want our little bit of depth. We're going to come in and feed confidently. So let's get him in and hopefully get into some red monsters. First drop down the edge and we attached to a carp. We fed it with quite heavy, five pots of ground bait with some maggots, some corn. Gone in over the top with a double corn about, about 15 minutes after we first fed it. And we've got one. Feels decent, it doesn't feel like one of our monsters, but maybe wrong. This is where I really like having that little bit of softer elastic. It's 12 to 14 hollow, but high stretch. As these fish are massive, so you don't really need to rush them. So you can put a huge weight together pretty quick. It's a little shelf here, so you have to keep a top kit up a little bit as it caught me out earlier. Here we go, and he's a lovely fish. No rush, really big fish. Ten of these will go over under a pound. Oh, there he goes. He's a nice common. Get his head up. Go for a scoop. Oh, yeah. We got him. Nice fish. That's the ones we want. And he's had a real weight builders in a match. Make everyone count, take your time. So yeah, lovely, first edge munter. Hopefully plenty more to come. Wrong net. Wrong net. Need a bigger net. So we've just had our first cap straight in and a pretty quick bite so we're gonna go straight in with another big pot of margin mix i've mixed it really wet so it's heavy it's taking on over water because obviously when these edge fish come in you want them with their heads down you'd want all the ground bait wafting around so another big pot of ground bait big handful of maggots a few bits of corn not too many just push them down We're fishing a bit further down the bank, just so we're away from ourselves so we can get confident. I see we're in about probably about two and a half foot of water. Make sure we all goes in the same spot. Well let's catch another one. So we went in on corn, had, had a couple of bites. It slowed up, so we've refed, gone straight over the top with a big bunch of maggots, and he's gone straight under. It's another good fish. 
Again, we're probably catching them in about two and a half foot of the water. Like you say, it's only springtime at the minute. So, we want to, we want a bit of depth, just get them a bit confident. This feels like a nice one. Just got to watch this shelf, it's running across the front of us. I can feel, I can feel my elastic hitting this, so I'm going to keep them up. It's 12 to 14 is lovely. We could use a heavier elastic, but I just, it gives you a bit of time if you shoot off, you can get your sections back on. And to be honest, you can play them a lot easier on that top kit, because you've got a bit of extra stretch. And here he comes, hopefully we'll get him in first go. Hopefully he's another laugh with Minter. Oh yeah, he's a big one. Bigger net required. Oh, it's a nice another double. Beautiful fish. Really deep bodied. And what we're going to do now, we're going to pop them in the net, we're going to go straight back out with another cup of ground bait and maggots. Because these big fish, they don't take long to empty a swimmer bait. Oh, nice big one. So we've had a fantastic day today at Larford Lakes. Just want to say a big thank you to Phil Briscoe for giving us the pegs and the time to come on you. We've uh, we started short, we had a lovely day catching skimmers. We've probably got 50, 60 pound, if not a few more, because we've caught some real nice fish. Um, it didn't really it didn't really happen for the carp. I fouled up the couple, but it never really came to life for the carp on that five meter line. I feel like it was probably a bit too far. I so probably fished four metres and just fed hard pellets all day. Um, but we've had a great finish. Down the edge, we've had some real nice fish. The sort of fish you want, you know, the last hour in a match. And if we can get this one, I think we'll call this one the last one of the day. It actually feels like a nice fish. It, wouldn't, it didn't feel that big when I first sucked him. Oh, off he goes. And we're gonna have plenty more videos on the Gabalino UK YouTube channel, so keep an eye on that. And I'll try to get this last one in with you pretty quick, but he's not playing ball. And we'll call it a day. It's been fantastic fishing. The skimmer fishing up here is unbelievable, you know catching three pounders every drop and then he's big massive carp to finish like I say you got the 30 pound in you but I think this might be a nice one nice one to finish on definitely if I can get him out oh. Here he comes. Oh, he's a big fish. Again, it doesn't take take many of these down the edge. The last hour to really bump your weight up at that match. Because 10 of these fish can go well over 100 pound. So just take your time with them. Yeah, he's nodding away slowly now. I think he's going to be ready in a minute. Well, he's a proper unit. Here he comes. Oh, nice big long common. And in the net. Thank you for watching. And like I said, keep your eye out on the Gabalino UK YouTube channel. Thank you guys. Oh!